Harvard astronomy professor, says the alien probe that visited us in 2017 left a message for the scientific community. He's talking about the interstellar comet Umwama. Harvard professor Avi Loeb believes an alien visited in 2017 and more are coming. Harvard professor Avi Loeb believes that an alien probe visited us in 2017 and brought a message, quote unquote, to the academic community. It was an unremarkable day in 2017 in October when Canadian astronomer Robert Werrick made an astonishing discovery. Thanks to data from the University of Hawaii's Pan-STAR-1 telescope at the Kalekala Observatory in Hawaii, Warwick saw an unusual elongated object about the size of a football field screaming through the solar system 196,000 miles away. The strangest thing of all was that it seemed to be speeding up slightly, pushed by an invisible force that has yet to be fully explained. Its highly unusual trajectory caused it to pass our sun, leading scientists to believe that the space object, later referred to as Umama, or Explorer in Hawaiian, was the first visitor from outside our solar system to be observed directly. Over the past three years, countless attempts have been made to explain the unprecedented features of Umama. Some speculated that it was a hydrogen iceberg, while others suggest that it was a traveling space rock covered in a layer of organic sunscreen, quote-unquote. For Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist and professor of science at Harvard University, the answer could be tantalizing. Their controversial argument is that Umwama may have been a probe sent by an alien civilization, an explanation that has attracted numerous, enormous media attention and unsurprisingly proved divisive among experts. In his new book titled Alien, the first sign of intelligent life before uh, beyond Earth, Loeb explores his provocative hypothesis using the story of Umwama to lay the groundwork for a much larger conversation. The struggle to be taken seriously within the scientific community that has historically maintained the discussion around the search for the existence of remote terrestrial intelligence. During an interview with Futurism, Loeb argued that the scientists' explanations fell short of explaining the many quirks and eccentricities of Umama. The scientific community advocated for something we've never seen before, he said. An example of this was what Loeb called the dust rabbit hypothesis, which theorized that Umama's strange trajectory could be explained by very low density. He said, the problem with this, with uh, that is that I don't think something the size of a football field that is a dust bunny would survive a journey of millions of years through the interstellar space, Loeb explained. Aspiring that hypothesis, he says, I mean, just I just don't think it can stick together. For Loeb, the scientific explanations that tried to include Umama as an existing scientific framework simply did not make sense. The point is, on the one hand, you can't say it's natural, Loeb argued, and then when you try to explain it with natural processes, you come up with something we've never seen before. And that's how it ended up in aliens. The root of Loeb's alien theory is that Umwama may have been a solar sail sent to us from another star system. In the simplest terms, a solar or dinghy sail is a form of propulsion of a spacecraft that converts the low pressure of solar radiation into motion. Earth scientists have already experimented with this concept. In 2019, the nonprofit Planetary Society launched a craft called Light Sail 2, which uses 340 square feet of an extremely thin layer of reflective polyester film to gradually propel itself. For Loeb, a solar sail pushing by, pushed by stra starlight could explain the unexpected acceleration of uh, interstellar comet Umama. If it's solid and not a dust rabbit, the astrophysicist concluded that the interstellar visitor 
must also be surprisingly thin, perhaps by his, his calculations less than a millimeter thick. For the astronomer, the conclusion of the solar sail was to follow steps like Detective Sherlock Holmes, when you rule out all other possibilities, whatever you have left must be the truth. That conclusion is an exaggeration for many astronomers in the field who have repeatedly challenged Loeb's conclusion. In a 2029 study published in the journal Nature Astronomy, an international team of researchers argued that they found no compelling evidence to favor an extraterrestrial explanation for Umama. Umama's properties are consistent with a natural origin. University of Maryland astronomer Matthew Knight, a co-author of the study, told Reuters at the time, he said an, an extraterrestrial explanation is not warranted. Their argument was that Umama is a planetismal or small fragment of a planetary building block that has just drifted through our star system. Warwick, who discovered the object in the first place, had no kind words for Loeb's hypothesis. He told CBC in 2018, honestly, that's a bit of wild speculation. I think it's a remnant of another solar system's uh, added work. It's just something that happened to us by chance, and we were very lucky to have been operating the telescope that night and looked in that direction. These rebuttals appear to have emboldened Loeb's investigations into Umama's extraterrestrial origins, as well as leading him to make passionate plea to the scientific community, as outlooked in his book, to take SETI research ser seriously. For Loeb, it's about reading the stars with an open mind. He told Futurism, my guided principle is modesty. If we are not arrogant, if we are modest, we would say that life as we have it must be common. We know now from the Kepler satellite data that about half of the sun-like stars have a planet like Earth, roughly the same distance, So it can have liquid water and the chemistry of life as we know it, Loeb said, referring to the habitable zone of a star system within which life could theoretically be supported. So uh, this is on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.